Auntie, Auntie. <laughs> If I'm, what is it? There's this thing that uh, <coughs> I've, I've, I've been longing to discuss this thing with you, but each time I see you, I lost the morale. But uh, now that I've seen you and I have the morale, I say, let me uh, uh, discuss something important that okay. will benefit us. Do you know that two hours plus, I was thinking, observing, thinking, observing, thinking, observing. Within myself, I now concluded that you are the most beautiful girl. Mm. The best among them all that that used to uh, as in that used guests. to that used to what? Wait, wait. Do other girls come here? We are here. Yes. Oh, I, I, like, like I was like, like I was actually, like you were what? Okay, I said all the girls that have been seen. For example, this is my room. That room over there. That's my room. Eh? When you go to that room, you will see the picture of the Beyonce that I bought in form of calendar. Do you know that yesterday I was looking at your picture? In fact, I was having your picture in my mind, looking at Beyonce, watching both of you. I said, no, you are the best among all of them. In fact, you are the preacher of the preachers. Mm. You have the bestest of the bestest. Okay. I said, okay, no, if not you, no other person. Mm. Do you know that among other girls, you are the best? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Um, is, is he around? Uh, yes, he's around. He's in the kitchen. He even asked me to go and get the uh, tomatoes. Okay. Uh, 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 but please, uh, uh, Auntie, you have to help me talk to Oga. Tell him that things are very, very expensive and costly in the market. Too. Do you know that he asked me to buy the, the little things they had, he asked me to buy? I went there. <laughs> if, surprisingly, even the onions that we used to buy very, very small, the things is now expensive. And the, the little one they asked to, in fact, they wanted to give to me, it's like, uh, uh, and ate that onions. But I said to myself, there's no problem. Okay. You understand? So you help me talk to him. Okay, I, I will. Thank you. Eh? Let me go inside first. I, 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 ah, not. Thank you. Madam. Honey? Honey? Babe? Hey, handsome. Hey. Hey, Mr. Chef. What are you cooking this time? Once you have eyes, you can see. I can see from here. Rice and stew, just the way you like it. Oh, nice. I guess I'm quite your time. Yes, you are. <laughs> so can you just go to the living room? Lunch will be served in ten. Yes, daddy. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hot plate is spice, so. Okay. Just enjoy yourself. Lunch will be served in ten. I've been dying to see it. Oh, I heard from my friend it's so lovely. Hmm. Hmm. Babe, lunch is served.
something. Hold me now. Hold me. Hey babe. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Are you still in bed? Yes, no. You worked me out yesterday. I wait, I didn't wait, I, I thought it was the other way around. How, how, how are you saying I didn't let you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Naughty boy. You didn't even tell me where you left. Oh come on. I thought I was being the good Samaritan here. I didn't want to disrupt your sleep. Oh, that's supposed to make me feel good, eh? So, um, are you going to be around when I get back? No, babe, I'll have to leave. I want to go do something for my father. Okay. So, um, have a beautiful day then. You too. I love you. Bye. Bye, bye. Ah, Olga. Okay. Yes. Welcome, Ubu. Hey, it's thing. Don't worry, I have hands. Ebu hands. Sir, uh, uh, sir, please. Uh, uh, sir, I really want to explain something to you. Please. It's all about yesterday. That's why I even asked Madame to tell you. I, I know you are still lying. That onions, I really, I put, I put it 500. Seriously. What onions? The one you asked me to buy yesterday, sir. I noticed, yeah, yeah, I noticed that since yesterday you have not been happy with it. Yeah, that's why I'm explaining all these things to you. Ephraim. Sir. 
I am not complaining. Sorry, you are not complaining, but your action is speaking that you are complaining. If um, I had a hectic day at the office, yeah. mm, so I need to go in and rest. Sorry, sir. Appointment will put them in trouble. My own, the only thing that puts me in trouble here is all this. Life is not but just a script, and everyone is acting. Music playing with the beat, but no one is dancing. Rules are meant to be kept, but rules are broken, and everyone is haunting. It's like a broken pieces, no one to complete it, so I kept on searching. More than words can say, more than eyes can see. More than what the heart can really explain. More than words can say. More than eyes can see. More than what the heart can really explain. Imperfect world. Nothing is completely complete. Oh. Imperfect world, nothing is completely complete. Oh, yeah, imperfect world, nothing is completely complete. Nobody is perfect, though. Imperfect world, mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing is completely complete. Who am I to judge you? Ah, Oga? Ah. Oga, see the things you asked me to buy you? Yes. Um, Oga, ah, this one you are cleaning all these things by yourself. I'm supposed to help you now. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. So long as you bought this for me, you guys get enough help. You can go back to your office. <laughs> office, what? Oh God, the way you promote me sometimes, I don't understand. Where do I have office in this house? The gate? That is your office. Mm, officially, yes, that is my office. But oh God, the main thing is that I will not allow you to be doing this when I'm here. If I go to that my office, like you said, my mind will not be at rest. When I know that it's both of us that is in this if house, let me worry. assist you. Don't worry, I can handle it, okay? No, Oga, that's not what I'm saying. My mind no fee rest. Say, I know fee help you do some small things we are supposed to do for you. Just let me help you, you can do other things. There's only two of us in this house. So if I don't help you, who will I help? If you are my security man, not uh, my housekeeper. <laughs> okay. okay, if I'm your security man, why will I be following you to the market to buy food stocks? What do, in fact, things that we're supposed to eat in the house. Oh, if you don't like it, I can stop. No, but... no, ha! Ah. Me, don't like this. Oga, that is not what I mean. What I'm trying to explain is that I can help you do everything. Do you understand? In fact, Oga, let me do this one now. You can do other things, I beg. Okay, if you're insisting, there's um, dirty dishes. You can go and wash them. Official. <laughs> Official. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so. Ephraim. Sir? Take this to the kitchen, too. Oh, okay, okay, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, Dad. Uh, you told me yesterday, you told me you were coming to see me yesterday, Sunday. I waited and 
Uh, that, 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 that is true. That is true. That Yesterday was actually hectic for me. And I tried all my best to make it here, but to no other. That's why I came this early. Okay. Do you really know why I wanted to see you? I'm not clever that. You have to tell me first. <laughs> anyway, Tony, your cousin, was here yesterday with his wife and three lovely kids. Oh, Tony. How is that guy? Mm -hmm. He's fine. And the family, they're doing good. That's good for him. That's good for him. But that guy never called. Do you know I misplaced his number so I was waiting, hoping he would call so that I can restore his number but to no avail he did not call at all. Anyway, Tony is your melt, IK. He was here yesterday with wife and three lovely kids, as I said earlier. And if I gaze well from what I'm seeing, the fourth one is on the way coming. What? Is he trying to run a baby factory or something? And that, that guy is two years older. Hmm. That calls for nothing, IK. You and Tony are of the same age bracket. Even Dennis, who is two years younger than you are, all of you are of the same age bracket in our culture. And look at Tony. He has a wife, three kids. Three kids. And they are all doing very well. Okay, Dad, is this why you called me here for us to discuss age brackets? Well, wow. exactly. That's not why I wanted you to come. But what we're talking about has a lot to do with the very reason I invited you. Okay. I want you to understand that we all have our priorities. Mm. Of course, I know I need a wife, but I don't want to dabble into marriage and wind up sad. I want a woman who will understand me, a woman that can compliment me, a woman that will be a wife to me. I want to be happy in my marriage, Dad. Okay. This is a long story for me. A real long story. Okay, in that case, how about the lady that I saw you with the other day? <laughs> Rose. <laughs> okay, that Rose is everything but not a wife material. There he goes again. Does it mean there's no good woman? Of course, Dad, there are good women out there. Then what are we waiting for? All I am saying is that I need time to search, to find a woman that can compliment me. That's all I'm asking for time. Let's make haste while there is light. Please, make me happy. Please come. I'm really thinking. About what? What else? What we just discussed in there. Oh, that, that I thought we were done with that. I, I have work to do. How can we be done with that? Okay, just imagine the other day I visited in your house. I saw you doing practically all the chores that women do cooking, laundry, doing dishes. These are Part of the things that a woman, a wife, like a wife, could do or help you do. At this point, I think you need help in finding a wife. And I'm right here now ready to offer you that help. Okay, Dad, I, I need to go to work. You're just going like that? Oh, look at Oh, no. Look, we are a logistic firm, and our contract is to deliver those goods to Niri once he arrives at our papa. And I don't trust that Mr. NX or whatever his name is. I suspect he gets kicked back from those Indians. Look, Obina, you just have to keep me updated. Hey, honey. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, Obin, I need you to keep me updated on everything that is happening, yeah? 
Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. I'll see. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. See that. Okay. How's your day? It was good. I have great news for you. Okay. Remember my friend Brenda? She's coming to town with our hubby from the US. I told you about now. The one I told you that the wedding was star studded everybody was there. And I'm so sad I didn't, I didn't make it. But, not to worry, I'll make it up to her when she comes back. Who's Brenda? Who's Brenda? You see the problem? This clearly shows that you don't concern yourself with whatever, what, what matters to me. Oh, come on, babe. You know, I, 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 I won't lie to you that I know the person you're talking about. Brenda! My childhood friend, my best thing in primary school. Oh, yes, yes. The one you said uh, you had caution uh, on her head or <laughs> I didn't say it like that. No. Kelechi was cute. Mm. I liked him, but I didn't date him. Mm. What's hmm? No, I'm I'm saying that you're quite disciplined, so you can have What do you mean? I'm, I will not do things like that. I wouldn't date my no, best friend. No, no, we're actually saying the same thing. You're mm. disciplined. You can't be God. Why are you rolling your eyes? Yeah, yeah, do you trust eyes. me? Of course I do trust you. Do you want to get lunch? Yes. Right you now? <laughs> <laughs> Time, Nobody they see you for I never since you far come on from this. Brother, you know how this hustle they be now. You have to ah. be everywhere. <laughs> Look at you, man. <laughs> see my brother. So where are you going? I want to go chop for one more side for Cosmos area. Oh, why Cosmos area? There are a lot of restaurants around here. Well, by restaurant, past restaurant. Uh, this woman cooking is excellent. Let's test our cooking. Okay, yeah. now let's 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 go there now. Fine. Hop in, hop in. Ah, ah. Man, you're looking. <laughs> Seriously, you have to be. Are you serious? How is your wife? You're not managing, you You're not managing, you look good. You look good, my brother. Ah, Una. No go finish us for you. How much is your money, sir? Very, very well. Ah, no, no, we are not yeah. expensive. I go finish my money for this year. As long as I said, I will finish them. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. Eh? Bye bye. Eh? Voila. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what did she say? Ah, she said she'll bring the goods to the house by 9 p.m. She says her goods are going to arrive very late. How? She knows we are going to prepare it against tomorrow's cooking. Ha! Huh. Mom, don't worry. I'll wake up as early as 4 30 and I'll eat. 4 30? Is that not too early? Um, see, you, you remember you have an appointment tomorrow morning. Very early at the ministry. Eh, hey, Mommy, that's why I said I'll wake up by 4 30. Then by 6 30, I should be done and hurry up for my interview. My daughter, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Jerry, you're still here, you've not gone. Is it when they close that you will go? 
Mom, now. I'm already on my way. Ah. Just wanted to see you first before going. Please, please uh, go and come back. Hey, Una. Hey, Una. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your meal. No, sure, sure. You have to go meal. Eh, no problem. Uh, hey. Hey, Nemo. You are going to go. Hey, Adamo. You will take me to Bodoi, but I know that very well. <laughs> hey. Mm. This this soup really looks nice. Yeah. Don't worry. Your own is coming. Just oh. wait. Oh, you should better come up. I should just... No, let me wait for mine. <laughs> no, let me wait for mine. Let me wait for mine. Good afternoon, Mr. Pius. Good afternoon, sir. Good, good afternoon. Oh, Tuna, you are around and you allow this sort of girl to serve me. I am so sorry. I was busy doing something inside. All right. Apology accepted. This is my old friend. Yes, yes. I told him about your mom's cooking. So I practically dragged him down here because he don't like it now, outside. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Tina. Please enjoy your meal. Oh, sure. Thank you. Ah, very beautiful. Her mom's on this place. She just graduated from the state university. Are you serious? She's a nice girl. Only man that marries her, the luckiest man on earth. <laughs> Mary, <laughs> we are talking about. I'm telling you. Thank you. you no, know, I don't like you. Even ah, fire, fire. Mm. Ah. Hey. But I'm old English. How are you? You're looking take away. Well. <laughs> You can always flatter somebody. It's not flattering. Mm. Oh, isn't she looking amazing? Yes, yeah, she's looking nice. <laughs> and the food tastes good. Oh, is this your first time of eating here? <laughs> yes, madam. Mm. I'm yeah. a dragon from here. So yeah. that you taste almost what I eat every day. Oh, okay. Uh, I hope you like the meal. Food is excellent. Uh -huh. And to think that it was even my daughter that prepared it. You know, she took over the kitchen as soon as she got back from the north. Ah, north. What did she go do for not? Uh, are you service now? Mm. She served the medu Are you serious? That's where I serve. Ah. It's not. I mean, I serve for my market on this one. you. But you. you can always joke. But that's eh? the truth now. Now, where I serve you. Uh, anyway, enjoy your meal and I hope to see you again. Eh? Mm. Right. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Uh, mm. uh -huh. My dear. <laughs> I'm simply very exaggerating. This is nice. Don't worry, don't worry. The best, the best, the best, the best one to taste the food. Oga, <laughs> you are welcome, sir. How are you? Fine, sir, fine, sir. How are you today, man? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ifrim. Chilik. Why, 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 why? Ifrim. Wait, you two know each other? Yes, now. Ifrim here was my classmate in Agwata Boys College. <laughs> was the naughtiest guy in our class, are you? Very, very. Yes. His father was the richest timber trader in Agwata. What happened? Uh, what happened? No, what happened? It's a long story. It's not something I can start explaining now. <laughs> this is how life is. <laughs> Your uniform, are you a... Uh, are, you a are you a security man? Yes. <laughs> I am a security man. This I am man. a good man to my... <laughs> this is my very good dog. <laughs> what about your dad? Nah. today the man died. Although before he died, you know, we had uh, one or two issues and... Uh, before you know it, my father married one uh, wicked woman that ended up killing him. So, me myself, I don't have any option than to pick up my life and see how I can survive. This is how I managed to 
secured his job and uh, ended up working with this good man. Chai. You are not a big boy. You. See sleep. <laughs> see sleep. See sleep of fires yesterday. But wait. Now is is my own turn to throw my own questions. You, <laughs> You'll be asking you, me questions. You, you. Now, wait. Oh. So you know this man, oh, this good man. So you know him. He was my neighbor some years ago now. My very good friend. Your neighbor? Mm hmm Okay, enough of the chit chat. Let's go in. You, you guys can talk to me later. Ah, I don't say you don't stop the pushing with my life. <laughs> now this world this is so please. Oh. Can you imagine Payo's don't fart? <laughs> Payo yo. Payo yo. <laughs> Payo yo. <laughs> Wow. 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 Come on, make yourself comfortable. Boy. Ah. You're a very big boy, you. Every girl in the city will die to marry you. <laughs> okay. See, Ike. What are you waiting for? You are my man, and I can call you my brother. Tina is a very good girl. Thank God you are liking her already. Did I tell you that? You said she's beautiful. You'll even notice her beauty. Like say I never marry, nothing on earth will make me lose that girl. I'm telling you the truth. Wow, you're seriously in love with her. I like her. Every normal and healthy man would. I can help you talk to her if you want me to. Uh, uh, <laughs> be coming down, huh? <laughs> Hey, don't be, don't run faster than your shadow, man. It's okay. Ha. No problem, Please. boss. This is what I tell you. You're welcome to my house. Thanks, man. What would you like to have? Anything, I really anything. don't have this. Yeah. Anything, I man. But this I life, eh? I'm hungry. Can you just make me something to eat? Maybe you can. You know, I don't like cooking now. You know, but you're a woman. Rose, okay, just stand up. Make me anything, anything that you can cook. Let me just eat something. You're not handicapped now. Eat. Milk. 
Yes, so that, so, so that it, who adds coconut milk to noodles? Well, who? It's supposed to make it um, um, creamy. <coughs> hey, sorry, but it's sweet now. Oh, no, you can have the rest but, of it. But you think you wanted it spicy? <laughs> Why are you not going to? Babe! Life is not just a script. It's sweet now. And everyone is acting. Music playing with the I hope you like it. Excellent. Mm, thank you. But I'm old English. Your cooking has always been good. <laughs> but it has only improved more better now. Plenty of things to do and all that. And I saw this, my daughter. Since she came back, she has practically taken over the kitchen. Wow. And people have been complimenting our food. No. And I am so happy for it. Oh my God, she's good. You did a good job, Pesa. It is God, though. It is God. But he did it through you. My dear, he says so. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, I hope there will be a beer after this. Yeah, sure. So let me tell them to okay, get it. Okay, madam. Do you know, I never thought I was going to eat masala soup outside. But this is, this is good. It's high time you start living me, I told you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. you feel? I'm not like you. Married and living single. My brother, you won't understand.
welcome, sir. Hey, well, thank you. What would you like to do? Um, you know my usual now, so just get me my usual. <laughs> thank you, all right. Uh, excuse me. How are you? I'm okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, what about Tina, your sister? Oh, she went somewhere, but she'll soon be back. Okay, all right, thank you. Yes. Good day, ma'am. Yes, madam. I am done eating. You don't look okay. Hope you enjoyed your food. Of course, I did. It's just stress at the office, madam. Please, oh, do not let anyone stress you. <laughs> Please. It's yeah? just something with the territory. It comes with the territory, ma'am. I have okay. to run along. Yeah? All right. All right. Man, have a nice day. All right, madam. You can. <laughs> Thank Please, you. Tomorrow. All right, I will. <laughs> perfect girl for you. I can't cook or do domestic work. And that is why your attitude towards me has changed. But I care. I truly love you. And it's not my fault that I can't do these things. We were never allowed to even wash our own clothes. I'm sorry for not being everything you want. I'm ashamed of myself, but I promise you that you'll be proud of me someday. I'll be away for a while to organize my life, but I'll be back. I love you forever. Rose. Oh, sorry. Hi, honey. Rose, where exactly are you? Hi, um, I'm in Port Harcourt. You're in Port Harcourt? Rose, what exactly are you doing there? Um, I came for a professional program. <laughs> a professional program? 
Rose, when exactly are you coming back? I, I didn't plan it, okay? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be back before you know it, honey. Rose, are you saying you don't know the duration of your program? What would you mean you don't... I, I don't know yet, but I will call you later, okay? Bye. I love you. Rose, Rose wait, wait, wait. Sorry. No problem. Okay. So, we'll start by this ogo. Yes, so what are we going to do to it? We're going to pour it inside the pot like that? No. Mm -hmm. We'll get a bowl, okay. fill it with water, wash the okra, mm -hmm. and you start cutting it. Who is going to cut it? You. No, it's you now. It's me, I know that it's cooking. No. You want to learn how to cook. So you're going to cut this. I, I want to learn, but I don't want to stress. So that means you don't want to learn. I want to. I will instruct you on what to do, and you do that with I, your two hands. I, 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 I can instruct No. Yes, come in. Oh, hi. Thank you. Omar, this is our secretary, fine. Uh, See, he knows like full and Is that the proposal? Yeah, so don't mind the typographical error you may find on it. You know, this type is in the business center. Most times, I wonder if they attended primary six. You want us to give you 40%? Yes, and it takes 60. You know, this is like a chain thing. And I'm not the only one on my side. Really? I'm not interested. Why now? Why? <laughs> because of the percentage sharing. Actually, 10% is a fair offer. That's not fair enough. But I can convince others. Others? Yeah. And then that reminds me, have you spoken with her? Mm -hmm. Or more, who else if not Tina? Uh, first of all, let me have this. I have this to take care of, right? Some of this and all of this. So you see, Tina is not even in the list of the priorities. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, Mr. Fires. Hi, Tina. You're up to. Is this now that we came and decided to go out? Oh, uh, I just want to get something down the road. That thing doesn't have a name. Or I hope you're not going to see your boyfriend. No. Is it know that you're not going to see your boyfriend or know that you don't have one? The boat. I just want to go get something for my mom down the road. All, All right. right. I'll know if you come back. <laughs> All right. Bye.
so sorry. Please, I need you to help me do something. Yeah. I need to go. My wife has been calling me. I need to go on gym for them. Right. It's Take okay. Care. I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry, you're busy. Yeah, I need to. My wife needs me. <gasps> Be cool, okay? Um, sorry. Shouldn't I live with him? Because it's getting really late. Come on. How can you come to my house without coming to my house? Uh, you go inside and you see my house. Then you can leave. Don't worry yourself, let's, let's go in. Are you sure? Uh, Are you sure you're fine? Yeah. Um, uh Come to my house. <laughs> I was telling you before that you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> uh, I knew that um, it'd be tired. I have not been like this in like, a long while now. I guess I was carried away because of your presence. You, you were just, you are just funny there. <laughs> and I took too much. <laughs> okay, are you sure you're fine? I'm fine, I'm sure. <laughs> and then uh, something here. In case you wanna taste something new. You just feel free, eh? You just feel free. Okay. And um make yourself comfortable and um, watch TV. Let me just go upstairs and um, get out of this thing and I'll be with you in a jiffy. Alright? <laughs> Don't be worried. Uh. <laughs> are you are you fine? 
I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm very fine. Very fine. Life is not but just a script And everyone is acting Music playing with the beat But no one is dancing Rules are meant to be kept But rules are broken Everyone is haunting It's like a broken pieces No one to complete it So I kept on searching Mom, look at the time, Antina is not yet back My dear, I'm worried too You know your sister is not used to keeping late night I wonder who was keeping her wherever she is I just hope she's safe Mom, Tina, this wasn't what we agreed. Mom, I am very sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Things didn't go as I planned. How do you mean things didn't go the way you thought? Did he touch you? Mommy, no. Just that he got drunk and passed out when I got to his house. Why you did what? You followed him to his house. Hey, Tina, are you trying to sell yourself cheap? Mommy, no. Just that he wasn't okay and, and I felt it would be wrong to leave him in that condition. And it was Mr. Pius that dropped him at home. Wait, what happened to him? He was tipsy. <laughs> tipsy or drunk? <laughs> Which one? But he doesn't really drink. No. He just took three bottles of beer. <laughs> three bottles? <laughs> Hey God! Mm. Well, since, he, since I know him, he has only taken uh, two bottles in the shop. He has not got more than two bottles. <laughs> anyway, how was he when you left him? Uh, he was asleep in his room. But tomorrow I would go check up on him. Okay, well, whatever. Just be careful. That's all. Mom! Remember, for five years I took care of myself. So I am not a baby. Huh? Mm -hmm. You are a baby. You are a baby. Just be careful. That's all I said. Yes, ma. 
So my brother, I went to bed with my clothes and shoe on, but I woke up with singlet and boxers, and then I rushed downstairs only to meet her with mom. She had tidied up the whole place, and then she said, oh, I'm sorry if it's not okay by you that I removed your clothes and shoes for you. I said, no, there is no problem, so long as you didn't see my peepee. -pee. <laughs> what did she say? Did she say anything? Well, I told her that that is not the problem now, that I was hungry. And before I could finish saying anything, she dashed off to the kitchen. Before you know it, she came out with a steamy hot rice and stew. My brother, I was on my second plate before I opened the eye. <laughs> that girl is a complete package. Hey, mm? what is still remaining? <laughs> hey, I forgot to. I forgot that you are a foodie. I shouldn't have mentioned it. But anyway, she starched a lot of stew. She made, she made um, something quantity that will last till next week. From her menu, I had to reimburse her when I woke up. This is interesting. Mm. See what I've been telling you about. That girl is a complete white material. My brother, I'm beginning to agree with you. <laughs> I'm beginning to agree with you. Well, hope that food is still remaining because me, I'm fully hungry. Why is there rice there? But wait, what is it? What exactly is your problem? Because you are married, so I'm still wondering why you eat out. Let me go and boil rice and eat. Okay. Well, the rice uh, is uh, in the drawer next to the fridge. So you can just... Um, uh... Are you serious? All right. Um, <laughs> here you go. Oh, thank you. And um, cheers to the pretty Tina. <laughs> I really want to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done for me. I mean, you loved me like, you loved me so selfless. The way you take care of me, the way you do things for me, I don't deserve you. You know, sometimes we, you see what you're searching for, but you don't even realize it. And sometimes you, you could have what you need and you will go about searching for something. Does that make any sense? <laughs> All I'm trying to say is, I found you. And I don't know how this will sound up. I'd like you to marry me. So, do you love him? Love? Mom, it's not too early to be talking about love now. Oh. My dear, the taste of the heart has no time table. It can happen at any time. <laughs> well, he's a nice person. And I think I do. <laughs> you think you do, Asen. You love him. You think about him every time. I mean, are you crazy about him? Mom, I, I can't really say. But I do know I like him a whole lot. Okay, well, the good thing is that he loves you a lot. Hmm? Yeah, he loves you a lot. You know, I was crazily in love with your father. And he blinded me so much that I didn't see his shortcomings. You know the rest of the story. So, T, I I will want you to think well. Look well before you leap. Eh? Okay, Mama. I don't want what happened to me to happen to you. I want you to have a better life than I did. Thank you so much, Mama. 
Thank you. <laughs> so when is he coming for introductions? Ha uh ha. -uh. Who is he now? Ha. Huh. Huh. I don't want you to start looking desperate before this man now, eh? The guy should make his own move when he deems fit. Not anyone prompting him, eh? See, don't listen to her. I don't, I don't listen to her. See, T, <laughs> see this truth. He's scratching me. I want something to enter it. Let him start coming on radio. Me, I'm ready. I'm, I'm waiting for Hey. Ah. Oh, hi. So I'll see you tomorrow. Um, oh, come on, you promised. <laughs> come okay, on. fine, tomorrow. <laughs> the shores of the country to look for greener pastures. That was the middle view you gained admission, I think. Yes. It's been five years now and I'm back. I got in some stuff and so I decided to breeze in to see if I would see your beautiful face. And I'm so happy I did. I mean, it's been long. Good draw. You're looking so good. <laughs> so tell me, what did you bring from Dubai? I am into Arabic fabric business. I bring in clothes and a whole lot of stuff. I even got something for you. Really? Yeah. Abe, don't forget that stuff for the Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. It's the Uber man that's been driving me around since I got back. Yeah. So, so happy to be here. Look at this. That feels good, right? <laughs> 
So, what's up? Give it to her. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Yeah, I actually hope you don't you don't need to test it there. I actually got them for you over there. It's a picture of you I have in my head and you don't look different. Yeah. Thank you so much. I will try them when I get home. So what's up? The ring on your finger. Are you married now? Oh, um, not yet. But I'm engaged. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how about your mom? My mom? Oh, she went to the market, but I'm sure she'll be so happy to see you. She will be really excited. Okay. Just let me drop this inside. I'll be right back. Okay? Uh, I'll still be here. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay, so tell me, um, what are those pictures you were telling me about? The uh, I think mm. one was hundred dollars, the other one was two fifty, and I one remember. was one thousand two. I still remember all the prices. Don't worry, so let me show you. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. This is the one for two thousand five hundred dollars. It's not that it was more than one the option. Wait, this mm -hmm. is this one? No. No okay. way. Okay, fine. This one. Mm. <laughs> this one is nice, but the color. Are you sure you would like the color? You don't like the color? No, I I, I think the color won't look good on you actually. Mm. Okay, if you say so. Where is the other one? This one this one I was looking for. What do you think about this? Oh, wait, let me just take this one. Hello, Gabriel. <laughs> I am fine. I'm okay. And you? Um, no. No, I am not at the shop. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. They fit perfectly. Thank you so much. They are so lovely. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you. I appreciate it. Who's Gabriel? Um, Gabriel. Gabriel is an old customer of my mom. He used to be a good friend. Why are you guys dating? Dating? Of course not, babe. Gabriel is just someone that comes around and makes everyone laugh. I mean, I saw him yesterday at the shop after five years. Do you love him? Becky, what is wrong with you? I mean, how can I love him when I have you? Is that impossible? Because I heard the way you spoke to him on the phone. And that is the same way I talk to all our customers. Really? Because you told me that you don't give out your numbers to your mother's customer. I can't. Gabriel is a harmless customer. I mean, I've known him for a very long time even before I enter the university. He's a good person and there is nothing between us. Does he know that you're engaged?
Tina, how are you? Bro, what are you doing here? Actually, this boutique sells most of the stuff I bring in. There's actually this beautiful gown that I think would look good on you. Come, let's go check it out. Tina, why are you standing here? I thought you were supposed to go in there and get something. Uh, yes, I'm still going to go in. I, I just wanted to... We'll get to things else. Uh, Gabriel. Gabriel, this is my fiancé. I'm sorry, I just have to go with him, okay? Are you fine? I'm so sorry. You're not actually okay. I don't like strange men around my house. So I advise you to stay away from me. I'm sorry, okay? Ah! Gabriel, what is wrong with you? Actually, you can't something. You're standing there with a strange man. You're asking me, what am I doing? Mm. Okay, what was that for? You embarrassed me. I don't want to talk about it now, so just leave me alone and let me concentrate and drive. Concentrate and drive. I don't believe in that. I don't believe there is anything called harmless relationship between an opposite sex. I don't believe in that nonsense. Ike, Ike, you should learn to trust me. Trust you? Yes. Trust is not automatic. You want me to trust you, then you have to earn it. Tell that guy that I don't want to see him anywhere around you. And maybe you can convince me by doing that to trust you. Trust you. He's a jealous lover. Huh. Those are danger signs. You better run. <laughs> See, don't listen to your brother. Hmm? Every man is protective of whatever he loves. As long as the jealousy does not lead to abuse. That's exactly my point, man. Most jealous lovers, they turn out to be abusive at the end. Abusive? Oh, how? Like getting angry and jealous to the point of beating you. No, mom. <laughs> I don't think he can do a thing like that. Ah, if that is the case, you don't have anything to fear. Hmm? See, Gabriel, I know him. I know he liked you. But then you were too young and I didn't want all these boys coming here to spoil you. So call him and tell him to give you some space since you have made up your mind to marry Aike. Okay? I just don't know why he's taking him eternity to come for introductions. If you ask me, T, don't rush into anything yet. Okay? Thank God there are two men now. So my dear sister, take your time. Assess this man properly before you say I do. Eh? <sighs> okay. Um... Gabriel, you see, first of all, I want to apologize for the other day. You see, my fiancé is a jealous lover. Can you... Can you stop being friendly to me? And can you stop texting me or calling me on the phone? It's affecting my relationship and... And I'm hoping to get married soon. Please, I don't want to ruin it. Okay? So now I've heard what you said. But you know what? What? I can't. I can't do what you're asking me to do. Kibra, how can you say a thing like that? you are my friend. I thought you liked me and wants what's best for me. So how would you say that to me? Because I love you, Tina. Because I've loved you from the very first day I set my eyes on you. You see, I wasn't just coming to your mom's restaurant because I couldn't survive without her food. 
I was always coming there because I wanted to see you. You were young and preparing for your examination, so I didn't want to distract you by letting you know. I left the shores of this country when you gained admission because I really wanted to work hard for to become the man you would be proud of. Life is not but just a script And everyone is acting Music playing with the beat But no one is dancing Rules are meant to be kept But rules are broken And everyone is hurting It's like a broken pieces No one to complain For seven and a half years I searched for you on every social media platform But I couldn't get your number And I always loved you April, why didn't you say this to me all these years? God knows how much I liked you and wanted to hear something from you, but you never did. You never told me anything. Well, I'm sorry. Because it's too late. I am engaged now. I am engaged, so what do you want me to do? It's not late, Tina. You know. I searched for you on every social media platform, but I couldn't find you. You see, I'm not here to date you, Tina, because I already know you. I'm here to marry you if you agree this minute. <laughs> T, what's the matter? T! yourself. Tina, I need to be left alone. Tina, that is the woman you have been with? That's why you've not been picking my calls, right? Rose, uh... No, don't rose me. Tell her that your woman is back. <sighs> Ephraim. Ephraim. Uh, you know that my girl, the fair one, Tina. Yes, yes, she, the fair one. Whenever she comes, I don't want you to let her in. Okay, you mean if she comes to this place, she's not allowed to enter inside the compound? That's exactly what I said. I don't want to see her inside. Okay, sir. This one with my regard to tell me, say me cannot allow her girlfriend to enter. Oh, ah, my, oh, goodness me. Now I know now. Don't have Madame Bidé. I've only one clash of titans.
Wow. Hmm. This is good. No, no, no. This is excellent. Okay. Uh, uh, I want to ask if you made this, but I. What should. Wait, how did you learn to make something this sweet in just a few months? Well, my auntie is a kitchen, so she taught me everything. No, no, she's good. You <laughs> are good. Thank you. I learned everything. Hmm. Uh, well, I wanted to surprise you, so I didn't want to tell you. I just wanted to show you. I am surprised. No, the... What? <laughs> Babe, I really, really love you. Anything that will make you happy, I will do. Cleaning, cooking, ask I would do. All those things I, I didn't used to do, I would do them and more. Please, give me another chance. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. I, uh, I was confused. But the strange thing is, even in my confusion, I was still loving you. Rosa, I'm truly sorry. I just. Hey. I... Yeah. <laughs> this is I'm nice. really glad you like it. Babe, mm? come here. Who, yeah, who is that person? Who is that person? Tina. Oh. Oh, my God. You're welcome. Oh, wait. Hey, Tina. Tina. Is your guy? I'm. 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 Titi. I'm Tina. I, I, I'm happy to explain something. If I, it's not. And to you! Thank you. what is the problem? I mean, your gateman wouldn't allow me to come in, and when I call you, you give me excuses. I mean, what have I done wrong? It's because this woman is back. Mm hmm. That is what happened. Oh, he didn't tell you? I Who is she? Wait. So you're married? I think you're married no. and you, you no. never told me. No. I'm not married. You're not? Okay, you know what? This embarrassment has got to stop. You either choose me or her right now. What is it going to be? Rose, you and I have been having issues. One of those issues that, if not treated, will turn to divorce and all sorts of marital crisis. Tina, you are a wonderful person. 
any man in his right senses will be proud to have you in his life. And I am proud because you have been so good to me. Rose, you, you know, many a times while we're in relationship, I ask myself, what exactly are you bringing to the table? Aside the fact that we love each other, what, what is the value of you in the relationship? And I asked myself several other questions, but I couldn't get any reasonable answer. And I keep wondering, what exactly am I doing with you? But then this past few days, uh, it's been so much drama. It's been a dramatic turn of event, and I, I don't even know what to say. Tina, Tina, you took good care of me. I am so grateful for that. You know I will never hurt you. I will never, ever do anything to hurt you. You know that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I do. You said, Tina, I, I don't know, but I love this woman. I love this, this lady so much. I, I love her without any iota of doubt in me. I, I love her without a reason. I, and I know this is so sad, but I didn't mean for any of this to happen. <laughs> Tina, I, <laughs> Tina, I am, I am so sorry. So. Sorry, but I can't. I can't leave this woman for for anyone. Can I see your girlfriend for anyone? I wanted us to see yesterday. Because I wanted to tell you that that I'm pregnant. Yes, I am pregnant. I need to get to this. Huh? Now you're pregnant for him. And he wants to leave you and marry someone else. Who does that? I mean, who, who gets a woman preg pregnant after engaging her? And then leaves her to marry someone else. Mom, what are we going to do? Because this IK or what, whatever he calls himself, he must marry to you. He must marry her. for you and you are here telling me that you are in love with another lady I do not even know if she's going to be pregnant for you listen our blood does not wallow or waste outside the family we must go to see her parents but that you don't understand what I'm saying understand what okay Tina is a nice person and all but Dad, I love Rose deeply. Yes, Dad. Okay, I had issues with her, and that's because she was being lazy and spoiled and refused to contribute to the to the relationship. But right now, Dad, she has fixed herself. And, and, and I, I just can't imagine my life without her. I, I, Dad, please, I explained everything to you. I understand. I am not forcing you to get married to her. No, far be it. All I am saying is, we need to take responsibility. We need to be a noble family we are. 
We need to go at least see the parents. She's carrying my grandchild right inside her womb. That's what I mean. We need to see the parents. What? She called me yesterday to tell me that she's at her friend's place. Okay. And she's okay there. And I shouldn't worry about her. Hmm. She said that I should keep the pregnancy. So, uh, assuming you want to look for her now, does it mean there's no place to consider? So was a good man. And I encouraged her to be with him. I never knew I was making a grave mistake. If anyone had told me in my dreams that your son will end up treating my daughter like this, I would have fought them. That is how much I trusted your son. God is watching. <laughs> Madam, please, I'm still pleading. Don't forget that I am involved in this too. I promise to do everything I can personally to correct this mistake, this nonsense my son has made. So sorry about all this. But meanwhile, please, I want you to keep this. I will definitely come back, the Lord willing, in two days' time to see how we can tidy up all this and make sure that everything fits well, okay? Okay, sir. I beg to take my leave now. All right. Take Bye -bye. it easy, okay? Mom, what did he come here to do? Have they finally agreed to pay T's bride price? Not yet, but he said he will see to it. <laughs> he better do. He better do. Because we won't let IK do otherwise. He can't be going around engaging girls, getting them pregnant, and then leaves them to run into the arms of another woman. He won't succeed though. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> Take it easy. As we speak now, my son and I are not even in talking terms. I tried all I could to stop him from this nonsense, but he wouldn't. Oh, I don't know how to make it this far. Sir, please, oh. please don't tell her to take it easy. Oh. Don't tell her to take anything easy. I mean, how could your son do this to my, my, my sister? How could he? He thinks he has done his own now and he has gotten away with it, Abby. No problem. No problem. But just go and tell him that I said it's not over yet. Oh. Hmm. Tell him don't worry. You don't know what to do. Please, get off and leave my house. Leave my house if I do something, I'll regret. Please, madam. Take it easy. We can work something out. Eh? Yes, what? you and I can we work are something right? out about we this. Are Me and you work something out. Say my boss is a... Get okay. out! Okay, okay. Please. Look at him, you can walk something. 
All these things because my husband is not around. If she's around, he would have dealt with that your wicked and hopeless son. Ah, God. God of justice, where are you? God of justice, where are you? I'm so keen now. I'm so keen. Ada, just get something for me on your way back, eh? Please. <laughs> you can't be serious. See, you better go back and get me something. Yes, now. Ada, just get me ice cream, please. Madam, your house is not running away. Eh? It is your cost rep that is talking, you no? Know. Eh? Which one is former? <laughs> Ada, you know I am double now. So that's the reason for the craving. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll be waiting. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Tina.
Life is not but just a script And everyone is acting Music playing with the beat But no one is dancing Rules are meant to be kept But rules are broken And everyone is haunting It's like a broken pieces No one to complete it So I kept on searching More than words can say More than eyes can see More than what the heart can really explain More than words can say, more than eyes can